we're not aware of our own power we're not aware of the fact that the universe is mental like don't you think that is such a basic foundational thing that we need to know i can never get it when i'm on the ground you can never get it when you pull me down even when i fall let's be open now something about the space that i honor now something about the race of the richest town something about this place falling down i don't want to glow up just to watch you drown this ain't holly choco we in fighting now hey it's anna so the universal law of mentalism this is just going to be my interpretation and my understanding of this law like i'm still learning still trying to understand all of the laws as a whole so like any video that I do is just my perspective and my understanding and that is gonna grow and change and evolve as I go along like I mean every fucking day because I'm always being triggered into shit and revelations and like constant so much happens to me in such a short space of time when you embark on this journey it probably happens to you too so yeah my understanding of things shifts all the time so this is just my perspective but I want to talk about the law of mentalism um, from the Kabbalion from the Hermetic principles it has quite a few names so I've discovered like um, the Hermetic principles the Hermetic laws or teachings or the universal laws but they all basically mean the same thing from the book the Kabbalion um, and it goes into talking about the universal laws which are basically the laws of the universe the things that just are like they just govern the way the universe the way the all the way everything came into existence they kind of like it's what everything lives by so to speak so the universal law of mentalism states that the mind is all and the universe is mental so what is all the all is literally all that there is like everything that you could possibly think of like everything the universe the world but bigger than that, literally every single thing that is in existence is what the all is. And it's saying that the mind is that. Literally, so the mind is everything, you know? Like, everything is the mind and the mind is everything. And I kind of find it hard to even put it into words because for me, it's more about a feeling. And I've realised that probably is a Pisces in Mercury placement, which I do have in the 12th house. Like... Sometimes I can't even put things into words because I just feel it, like I just know it and I don't know how to express it, if that makes sense. So sometimes like I feel like I'm rambling and then when I watch it back I'm like, oh, actually you did explain it, it's fine. <laughs> but um, so for me, like when I think about the all and what the all is, like it's just a feeling that I feel like I just know what it is for me if that makes sense, but it literally is everything that's in existence, like everything, all of us, everything as one, you know, like it's basically God, that is what is referred to as God, is the all, is source, is the universe, they all kind of mean the same thing, and it's just saying that the mind is all, and the universe is mental, meaning how we create it, how we trans, what's the word I'm looking for? how we transmute it, how we bring things into existence is all through the mind. It's a mental process and not a physical one because the physical reflects the mental. So based off of this teaching, like it literally shows you that everything starts in the mind. Everything comes back to the mind, which is why there's mind control. Like that's exactly why they instill the mind control because they want to restrict your ability to be able to create what you want and to realize your power. So that's why I've realized that like everything comes back to the mind and everything comes back to the self because you're the one in control of your own mind. Even though these external things try to manipulate it and try to control it for you, you actually have control over it and you can take that control back when you become aware of this. So like, if the mind is everything and everything is the mind, like if the way the world exists, the way things are created, the way we even exist ourselves, the way we can live, the way we can experience life through a vessel, all of that is because of the mind, then that means that like, we can literally create anything that we want and have any life that we want and live how we choose to you know and it also means that what you believe in what you convince yourself of what your mind decides is what's real because your mind creates it your mind makes it real 
you know, because the mind is all and the universe is mental. So everything comes back to the mind. And that also means that like, if somebody decides that they don't believe in something, then that's true for them because the mind creates it. So if the mind doesn't believe in something, then that means that thing doesn't exist for that person. That means that thing doesn't work for that person. So like astrology or tarot or crystals or all of these tools that we can use, it's our mind that gives them the power. Same as intention, same as magic, same as everything. Everything in this world and everything that's a part of you, it's your mind that makes it real and it's your mind that gives it the power because the universe is mental, the mind is all. So, I don't know, I really love this like law, which is kind of, I don't know if that's like a weird thing to say, but I do because it's like the main one that I'm really focusing on and like really trying to internalize because that, I feel like that's where your power lies and that's where you like realize that you can create whatever the hell you want, you know? like it's your experience and you can it literally tells you that abundance is you like it's the thing that makes you realize that money is you that love is you that your relationships are you because it's all mental so anything that you can imagine anything that you can dream anything that you can see within your mind can be brought into the physical reality you know like you're literally manifesting your abundance which is your natural state of being into the physical realm so material things and money and connections and those kind of things you know like it's bringing it from the mental plane and the spiritual plane into the physical realm and that's literally magic like that is what magic is it's using your mind using your intent to bring things into the physical realm you know to control your reality and of course they like instill stigmas and like ideas and make you think that certain things are evil or certain things are bad or you know like they instill different things especially through films the way they create and portray aliens to be the way they um portray magic to be and like witchery to be and all of these kind of things it's instilled into us from birth essentially because obviously when we're children we're very susceptible to um being brainwashed and like having our beliefs instilled for us rather than them being our own so of course they like instill certain things and agendas and everything how they want from when we're children so then when we become adults we're not aware of our own power and like literally they don't even teach this knowledge anywhere like it's not in school we don't learn this shit when we're growing up like you know so we're not aware of our own power we're not aware of the fact that the universe is mental like don't you think that is such a basic foundational thing that we need to know like we need to know this shit <laughs> to be able to you know they want us to live in this misery they're they're determined to keep us in this fucking misery but we are realizing and waking up to it now because the information is there right in front of us if only you would choose to look for it so i mean i just think it's such a fucking i can't even think of a word like these people are just evil I don't even think evil is a nasty enough word for them. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like they literally hide this shit for, or attempted to hide this shit from us. But now it's there in our face and now you can take back your power. And it just takes like internalizing the information because it's one thing to know all of the facts, but to actually understand what that means and then implement it into your life and how you carry yourself and like how you go about um, responding to things and creating the life that you want that's a whole other thing and a whole other level and like it really takes a lot of internal work and a lot of focus and a lot of dedication to be honest but this law like it's just so I don't know it just feels so freeing to know that everything is mental because that means it's inside of you that means it's not an external thing it's not something that somebody else can do for you like you don't need to rely on somebody else to make your life good you can literally do it yourself and even though that can be a fear thing as well because obviously then it's like oh fuck I have to do it myself like uh -huh. but at the same time it's really powerful because it means you don't have to wait for anyone you don't have to like listen to your family or friends or whoever else is telling you that you're wrong or ridiculous for searching this information like you can just you know it's down to you you can just do it even even when everything else is stacked up against you you have the power to 
change your life and to go and do what you want and to like literally liberate yourself you know remove the fucking veil pull the mask off everything you know the illusions are fucking falling finally <laughs> so yeah i just wanted to like start off talking a bit about the universal laws i don't even know if i've really internalized this law deeply enough but I feel like I'm getting there. So if I do another video on this, like the law of mentalism, then I'll definitely go deeper into it. But this is just kind of my basic foundational understanding of it right now. <laughs> Cause you know, I feel like you have to read the books and the videos and like watch the videos so many times over before it really sinks in. You know, like I couldn't even tell you how many times I've watched Brother Panic's same videos over and over again you know and they're like five hours long and i will watch the whole thing and then i will watch it again and again and every time i watch it i'm like oh damn i didn't notice that the first time so like it takes a while to get things to sink in because we are reprogramming our minds literally you know like we're surrounded by people and places and things and everything that goes against us that tries to keep us stuck in the cage you know literally tries to keep us where they are you know like certain people that we associate with they try to keep us in the same space that they're in because that's where it's comfortable you know like doing this even filming these videos is so shit scary not gonna lie like talking about these kind of topics is scary not even because of um like the danger if you want to call it not even because of anything like that because the universe is mental so like fear is only in the mind but because I guess because of like you're going against the grain you know you're talking about things that a lot of people aren't even aware of or haven't looked into you know it takes a lot to research this stuff so yeah I just feel like I want to take this channel in a different direction that's kind of what I'm trying to say is to actually um, go into different topics and like talk about all of these things from like masculine and feminine to astrology to food to Gnosticism to like everything, you know, like the dream realm. I could definitely talk about the dream realm <laughs> uh, Pisces, you know, uh, I've been lucid dreaming all my life and I didn't even know it <laughs> Because this information was never out there Like I didn't even know that I was already doing the thing that they call lucid dreaming and the thing that they call astral projection like because I didn't have an understanding of what that actually means. It sounds like such a wishy-washy, like, ridiculous, made-up thing. But you don't even realise that actually it's so simple and you're already doing it. <laughs> but you just don't realise. So, yeah, I'm getting a bit off topic. But I want to take this channel into all of those kind of directions. And just empower everyone, you know? Like, from business to spiritual topics to... Um, the mind to everything you know the whole aspects of life like we're creating heaven on earth over here I couldn't even get that word out then we are creating heaven on earth over here okay <laughs> so that is it for this video thank you so much for watching and I will be doing a video for each universal law I've just decided right now that's what I'm gonna do so um don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and all my links to music my website and social media and everything like that will be in the description box below and I'll see you in the next video bye I need